back and just give me the cue. All right, Coach, we're ready. Can you open this up? Some comments? Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, it's kind of been indicative of our season. Uh, the way our kids fought tonight, I, I was very proud. I think uh, we were playing a team that's playing as well as anyone in the country right now, particularly defensively coming into this game and running the ball extremely well. Um, and, you know, we battled toe-to-toe -to -toe for, for most of the game. But uh, like, like I've said, for whatever reason in, 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 in this, year, this game, you have years where the margin of, of error for a team is just so small and, and one or two plays make such a huge impact. And, you know, think about the uh, third and five and Chad puts us in field goal range in the holding call. And, um, and then, you know, probably had a touchdown there down when we were down 33-29 and, uh, you know, we just, we didn't connect and make that play. And the next play you throw an interception that flips the field and, and gives them the two score lead. And, you know, our, uh, uh, our season's kind of been like that. We were extremely shorthanded tonight at some spots and uh, really, really proud of the effort our kids gave uh, uh, against a really quality opponent. I raise your hand, we'll bring the microphone to you if you have a question. You, uh, end of the third quarter, you, or excuse me, beginning of the third quarter, you guys drive down and then get near the goal line. What, what did you see there that uh, that made Jason a good uh, option there in that situation for you? Well, we wanted to run the uh, the wide sweep and think it was a touchdown. I'm not sure they, they ruled that they got a timeout off uh, before it. And then after they saw that, you know, we had done that earlier on the fourth down play where he, he had good yardage. They had a little twist on that uh, that got us on that play. Is that as well as Chad's play, I mean, given how much you, you know, in this game in particular, you really asked of him to do? Is that as well as he's played for you? Uh, I would have to say it's way up there uh, against that defense. I mean, I, they've given up seven touchdowns all year, and um, they've just caused real problems for quarterbacks. Um, I thought our old line did a, did a nice job, particularly that we were so, you know, without a lot of guys. and. Um, Really thought Chad played really well. I, I don't. I couldn't see on the interception exactly what took place there. Um, but man, he he battled and fought, and he's hurting right now. He's a, uh, you know. But I thought he played really well. Hugh, what do you tell Evan, who's been so dependable and so good for you this this season after a, after a tough play like that? Like he had yeah. I tell him I love him. Questions? Any questions up top? All right, who's next? Not sure how to ask this. The struggles with stopping the running game, is that something that is not addressable in, in, in until after this season in terms of how you recruit or scheme or anything like that? Uh, it certainly is. Uh, uh, um, that's one of the pieces. Uh, I think any time that you – I've kind of uh, – you know, when you set a vision for a program and that vision is not meeting what the vision is, you've, uh, you have to look at the stats. They're the, they're the – indicators you have to look at to see what the, the problems are, what the issues are. And uh, there's an issue there. And so it's either people or it's the process. It's one of the two. And, you know, it's my job to try to figure out, is it a combination? Is it, uh, is it the process? Is it, is it just people? Does recruiting fix it? Does our communication need to change? I assure you, it's uh, there's no give up in that staff or in, in us trying to address it right now. We faced two pretty good rushing teams the last two weeks, but um, I wish I could answer your question definitively. But we're not going to stop trying to fix it. But it certainly has continued. Hugh. Uh, DeMarcus didn't come into play. Breland didn't play much at all. Was that just a matter of trying to mix things up, or you know, were they facing some type of discipline? Uh, DeMarcus Gates. Oh, um, 
Uh, I'm not sure when they came in. I, I have no idea. Um, DeMarcus was hurt all week. You know, I mean, we had several kids that didn't practice all week, so that was uh, that was his issue. We weren't sure if he could play with his knee. So, uh, Fadal, you know, we were, no, we were in. Uh, Breland, you know, was uh, didn't have the greatest week of practice. Obviously, you got guys to play hard tonight. How difficult is it going to be going into this last month with, you know, most of the, most of the goals you had set not achievable at this point? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited still. Here's what I really believe, and I know that, look, in, in this game, it's gotten so, um, the expectations just, just go crazy, and, and certainly we have not performed uh, our, our best at times this year. And, but you know what, you can never, you can never win enough, you can never recruit enough, you can never, <coughs> if that's really all you define yourself as, then you probably can't get back up. But I, I've told our team tonight that their positive energy and their vision has to be so much greater than anyone and everyone's negativity that it really doesn't matter what that is out there. And their confidence in who they are and who we are has to be greater than anyone and everyone's doubts. And uh, I will be ready to go tomorrow to go 1-0 and next week. That's the goal. Nothing. I don't even know what's after that. My goal is to get the ones who are healthy and that can play to be ready to go to get one and zero next week. These these seniors deserve to go out of here known as fighters and and a group that helped change the culture of this program. That's what they deserve, and that's what we're going to fight to to make sure they get. Did you see any of these problems coming, or has it been kind of a surprise to you the way things have unfolded? Um, that's an interesting question. I actually told someone uh, that's close to me um, in fall camp that uh, I, I was concerned uh, about some things defensively. Really thought either we were really, really good offensively. But um, usually in camp, the offense doesn't control things. And uh, so I guess if, if I'm answering the question, maybe I did. All right, any more questions for Coach Freeze? All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks. Well, players, uh,